Ever wonder how a Harry and David Royal Riviera pair goes from branch to basket? Me too. My name is Mark Himminger, and I'm gonna take a closer look. I'm here at the beautiful Oregon Orchard, just a few miles off of the Harry and David campus in the Rogue Valley of Southern Oregon. I'm here to meet Matt Borman, who heads up orchard operations for Harry and David. Matt's gonna take me through the process here in the orchards, and then we're gonna head over to the Harry and David campus to the processing plant and learn what happens over there. Come with me. Matt, good morning. Good morning, Mark. These pears are ready to be picked, huh? Yeah, you know, um, we, we are ready. Being in the middle of the harvest, uh, now is the time that we get a little bit nervous. Are we gonna get done in time? Because there's a, there's a window. Before we start, and we spend time actually measuring the pears and how, they, how they've matured, right? We wanna make sure we're picking them when they're ready, mm -hmm. uh, but not ripe, right? So the ripening part actually takes place afterwards at people's homes. Hmm. Matt, what makes the uh, Royal Riviera pear unique? This was first identified as a variety mm -hmm. in 1856 in a place in France in a breeding program there. And since that time, Camise has, has journeyed across the world and it's really centered here. So it's had all this time to find the perfect locations. And here in the Southern Oregon, we have the largest single planting in the world. And, and it does well here because of the genetics and the way we farm it, the soils we have. As far as growing them, they're a little bit tough. Um, uh, a lot of other pears and tree fruit um, have been bred over the years to be easier to handle, easier to harvest, uh, easier to store. Mm -hmm. um, and we've stuck with something that was originally developed for flavor and the quality of eating, but it's the commitment we make. As Matt began to show me around the orchard, I realized this commitment extends to the orchard workers as well. They work in teams to pick the pears, unload them into bins, then do it all over again, to the tune of 15,000 tons per harvest. The pears are loaded onto trucks with something called a straddle buggy, then transported to the packing plant. I'm going to head over to the Harry and David campus as well to meet up with Vice President of Manufacturing, Chris Jinneru. Our journey through the packing plant begins in cold storage. This is one of our many cold storage rooms. Mm -hmm. In here, we're going to bring our pears as we receive them from the orchard. Okay. Harvest is only going to take about 28 days, but it's going to take us months to run all of this fruit. Mm -hmm. What's the temperature in here? It's at 30 and a half degrees. 30 it's the half. ideal temperature to store a Royal Riviera. It's a little bit chilly. A little though. chilly. It feels good on a hot day. It does. It does. <laughs> okay. Sure. Shall we? Yeah. Okay. So, Mark, you'll notice on our right the pears in the bins entering our flume. Uh huh. Now, you asked a moment ago whether or not our pears float, the yes. answer is not on their own. The water has a high sodium content, so the pears remain on the surface, which gets them out of the bins in the safest way possible. Then water pumps and jets push them along as they're moved out of the flume and onto a mechanical belt. Yeah. That's exactly what's happening here. You can see these conveyors picking the fruit up out of the water. They're gonna go through two rinses. One is uh, the existing water, it's gonna remove any of the leaves that are still hanging onto the fruit. Mm -hmm. And then we have a clean water rinse too that will get a lot of that dirty flume water off of the pears now. I see. Uh, from there, it'll go through a small fruit eliminator where undersized fruit will just drop out. All right, sounds good. Shall we move forward? Yeah, we'll walk on down the stairs here and move to the next step. After the pears are washed, a group of pre-sorters remove fruit that doesn't pass the eye test. That's just the beginning of what turns out to be a meticulous selection process. So Mark, from here, you can see a little bit more of our optical defects order where we're taking the pictures. You can see the lights from the, the LED lighting. Yes. It's flashing as we're taking each of those pictures. Pictures are sent over into our computer system. We uh -huh. have an algorithm that's going to help us grade our pairs. So each of these defects on a pair are, are captured by this lighting and shown to you here, and that pair is measured on, on uh, and the grade of that pair is determined based on this. That's exactly right. At this point, the pairs are weighed and sorted mechanically so that pairs of the same weight go to the same packing line. Now the packer is going to pack the fruit. She's going to put her own individual card huh. as a packing card into each gift that she packs. That's great. And that's another thing you'll find in Harry and David gifts is individual packer cards. <laughs> Very cool. 
From the packers, the gifts go to quality control. Each gift is inspected and carrying instructions are placed inside. The boxes then go through what's called a lidding station, and from there are placed on pallets. Then it's back to cold storage until an order's placed, and from there the shipping dock, where they're labeled and loaded on the trucks. So once the truck's fully loaded, we're gonna close the door and it's outbound off to its destination. Well, I guess that's my cue to get off to my destination then. Chris, I wanna thank you for taking some time with me today. You're gonna to get back to work. I'm gonna go hang out with Matt Borman in the orchards and eat some pears. Well, good luck. All right. All right, thanks again for your time. My pleasure. So I'm back in the orchard with Matt. Matt's been kind enough to join me. We're gonna enjoy a Royal Riviera pear. Now that I've been learning about them all day and watching them all day, I wanna eat one. So uh, Matt, you wanna do the honors here? Absolutely. Um, I wanna thank Matt and Chris for allowing me to learn how the Royal Riviera goes from branch to basket, box, tower, etc. And, uh, and also I wanna thank you for joining me for a closer look. Here you go. Thank you, sir. Another good season. Not too shabby. <laughs> <laughs> you want to tell me about the, the lore of the golden pear? Rumor has it there's a tree. I haven't found it yet. A tree that grows the golden that's pear? The, that's, that's the rumor. All right, well, maybe that's our next video.